podcast. Okay. We start. One is that is that right? Is that does that work? Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me. Oh. Okay. That's totally is that too much? Man? Is that too loud? Okay. I think that was too loud. Oh. Okay. I think. That's exactly what. I- then okay. it cuts to like a violin, like. Uh, yeah. And then some. Okay. Then One, two, three. This is the River Podcast with Leo and and Will. Yeah. This is the first one. The first one. We're on a road to heaven. A stairway, if you will. Don't don't say that. (laughs) (laughs) Too late. (laughs) Too late. Okay, that is the real podcast. Yeah. We try to do that consistently. Yeah. For like a certain period of time. Yeah. Yeah. So before we get into our today's topic and such, I would like to state that we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. No, 80% speculation based on me, a Canadian dude, and a German German dude. dude, Who's faking a British accent? Don't do that ever. Oh, I will do it. I will do the whole podcast, you know? All right. Okay. (laughs) Let's delve in before we get too far. Mm. All right. So what... Okay, I wish we were... It's it's recording. (laughs) Yeah, it is. So... We're not sponsored, but I want to give a shout out to Velo Aloe. It's a really good drink. It tastes like aloe vera. Yeah. Yeah. What does it taste like? I haven't heard it. It tastes like it. aloe. You want to taste? Yeah, I'll okay. have a taste. Okay. I'll have a little sippy poop. <coughs> so. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> strong as fuck. <laughs> it's, oh my god, it's like soft drink. It's like pop. Holy shit. It tastes good, doesn't it? Oh, it's like drinking a pineapple. <laughs> You know what I don't oh, like? Woo-woo. You know those pieces inside? Yeah, that's I always nasty. have to feel them they're deep throating me when I break them. That. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I think. Oh, you're deep throating the pieces, not the pieces are deep throating you. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of kind of both side play. I suppose. So, <laughs> you suppose. So okay, our our top stories today of things we want to talk top about. Uh, Topics, not top stories. You know what? You know what? Agency. Maybe you do the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have colonialism. Oh. We have modern music, modern trap music, and and how modern it could music be in general. How it's shit. Okay. How it is <laughs> like like the rock of our generation. Yeah. And then we have ghost stories. Yeah. And we have octopi. Oct- Oct- octopi and mushroom are from space? Question mark exclamation mark. <laughs> I, oh, octopi. In Germany Octo- we call octopi. them octopi. In Germany we call them octopi. Really? Yeah. That's cause, hilarious. Cause like I mean, German is like more has like more Latin than than more English. Latin. Yeah. Cause English is like mishmash, like mix. Well, we're like, like a language orgy. Netherlands. Yeah. There's a lot of. It's fucky. English oh, I don't is, even want to get into that shit. But it's. I think that's the beauty of languages. Isn't yeah. It? It is. It is. So, uh, we're starting. What What do you want to start with, Will? I don't know. What do you want to start with, Leo? Well, that's why I asked you. Yeah, Will. that's why I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are right. This is the River Podcast, and we call it the River Podcast because we were having a picnic, oh, and we yeah. invited all of our friends. None of them and came. <laughs> only Will showed up, and I showed yeah. up. And we are like, like I start listening a lot to Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here Shout we out go. to Joe Rogan. Oh yeah. So and then we started. Hey, how bad could it be if we started a podcast? And then we were like, Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. And then we had the idea to go like to to funny funny places and just funny record places. it. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, this place isn't very funny. It's literally the exact same spot we were when we invited everybody, but nobody came. Isn't that tragic irony? It is tragic irony. So it's funny. Shakespeare like used it hut. all the time. There's a pretty cool hut, though. It's like got some branches and stuff on it. A branch nice. hut. A branch hut. A branch hut. The branch hut. But you know what? We're calling it the branch hut now. Why? Because it... You always have to define things, don't you? Yeah, yes. I do. I'm a definition boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, it's going to be like an... 45 minutes on hour of just like really dumb jokes and yeah i like well, that we'll get deep i can i can look we'll live with that yeah oh yeah okay. well how deep oh how deep is your love how deep how let's stop deep people is hate us your love i really need okay. to okay. know you're beautiful <laughs> but not enough 
Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that, that was loud. That was a lot of echo. <laughs> that was. I like the echo in here. Oh yeah, it's it's got some nice acoustics. <laughs> <laughs> got some nice acoustics. Mm-hmm. I don't have a thing. We'll catch up to our topics, but oh, we let's start yeah. with mushrooms and octopi from mushrooms and octopi. So, honestly, I have to talk about Joe Rogan again because this is where <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I think I heard from it somewhere else again, but that's where it came up, and it's that. There's some parts of the genetic code of octopi and... Okay, I have to... Octopi. Octopi, yeah. Octo- octopi. Yeah, that's a whole controversy. Honestly, I don't own. don't even know a lot about it. That's no. just what I hear because I don't really listen. I'm, I'm easily distracted. A goose. Like, oh, it's a goose. <laughs> easily distracted. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, um, have you seen that tattoo of that goose? No, I think that was... No. Those guys who wanted to for Canada to, to participate more in the international space race that uh-huh. they made like a like a cartoon of a goose a space goose yeah whoa that, no that was like just like a ca- drawn oh it sat down <laughs> <laughs> all right back, yeah. back on so, topic <laughs> i don't know a lot about it this is just what i listen to like with one ear that they're like parts in a genetic code of yeah Mushrooms and octopi that like know that kind of out of sequence. They're a little fucky. Little, little, little funky. Little funky. Li- yeah. No, little funky. Funky. Is They're this like... PG thirteen? Are we keeping it real? Oh no, we don't. Yeah, no. Oh, I think no, it's too late don't. for that. <laughs> so and um, yeah, then there's this theory that this is probably the only way life can evolve anywhere in the universe. Yeah. And then there's the fact that mushroom, mushrooms. How do you call the spores? Uh, mushroom spores. Yeah. The like mushroom what? Spores. What are you talking about? The yeah, things the mushroom that mushrooms spores. jizz out when things Mush- get close. Yeah. Yeah, mushroom, mushroom spores. Mushroom spores that they can survive in the vacuum of space. Can they really? They, they can really. Fuck. That's yeah. crazy. That's cool. So and then there's a theory that a uh, uh, meteor just like yeah. Oh. Hit Earth and kind of no. kind of brought them here and this is the seed of life. Oh, the seed of life. Are we all just octopi? Over Are we, aren't we of all years? just like mushroom jizz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Leo. Thanks. That was that was the PG thirteen rating. It's yeah. gone. It's, oh, did the recording stop? No, it's oh, on. I was, I was just checking the time. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna give another shout out to Aloe by Leo. You already did, didn't you? Yeah, but you wanna do it again? Okay. Um. No, it's funny you should speak of this, but I didn't realize it until, like, just now. We talked about this in my English class. There's a lot of wind right now. There is what? a lot of wind. We apologize. We are truly out in nature. And unprepared. And unprepared. <laughs> like a honey teenager on his first party. But you should be prepared when that happens. We're protection you... kids. We're protection, but have well, you ever... we are kind of kids. Did you ever go to, like, a party? No, I've never been to a party. Fun fact. Look, <laughs> okay. you know how my life is. It's something Look special. Look at that goose. It's still there. Okay, let's not worry about the fucking goose. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. yeah. Back to mushrooms. An octopi. An octopi. Honestly, I always wanted an octopi as a pet. Octopi. Octopi. Jesus, English is hard, <laughs> isn't it? You know, I'm going to start talking like that. People want to start like, I? Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Just stop. I always wanted an octopi. Because yeah. it... They're cute. <laughs> I think they're ugly sacks of sp- sperm, basically, because that's what 80% of their body is, I think, is sperm, isn't it? What the hell are you talking about? Like, don't they have a... Uh, it, isn't 80% of an octopi's body sperm? No, like, it's sp- water. No. It's, octopi are not humans. It's... I can tell you it's not sperm. No. I can, I can, without even looking at it, I can tell you it's not spam. <laughs> Who told you that? I'm going to beat remember. that one up. I, it might, I might, re- re- you know, I'm going to look that up after we finish that. Yeah. Cause I can't live with that. We might, I might be replacing sperm with like the brain. They might, their brain cells might be just floating freely in their body. That but just shitty. look how awesome they are. They can like change to every side. Like a lot of them can like, yeah. they can change the, they shrink. Yeah, they can change the shape and the yeah. color, and that's because of the cool, coolest, uh, like, like, is that cells? Cells. Cells, cells. Yeah. And this is, I think, a few 
octopi yeah. who have like who really put their evolution points in like shift shaping and stuff and like changing colors shape shifting shape shifting here we Not go shape shifting <laughs> that when they die they turn white because do they really uh, some of them because oh, they're sure. they're, they're, they're cells just like they kind of lose they lose like their the power but it's like a muscle like a muscle yeah see mm. yeah that's interesting so so wait is there any other reason you don't like like octopi octopi i i like well i'm not gonna say i like them i honestly i give zero fucks about them <laughs> i no, can't no, 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 no well give zero fucks about octopi <laughs> Like, I get that they could be important to the ecosystem, or whatever, but they're not really that special to me. I just never felt a connection with a sack that can fit into small jars that changes color. That's like basically your life. I just never fit in with <laughs> a color-changing <laughs> sack? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe the octopi is like your spirit animal. You maybe. don't know it yet. Oh, maybe. What what's your spirit animal, Leo? What what do you think my your spirit, spirit animal? Is? I think it'd be like a wolf. No, it's, you prob seem it's like a probably wolf. the. I'm really flattered that you would assume that, but I think the Canadian goose comes comes closer. Really? Well, Canadian geese are vicious fuckers. Oh, no, I see. they kill. Oh, uh, and I f yeah, I heard a few people who got attacked by yeah. these geese, goose, geese, geese, goose, geese. I oh, know geese is the plural. Yeah. yeah, I think we have to talk a bit louder. Yeah, probably. Probably. It's beautiful out here. It, it's wonderful. I really like, like, when I first came to Golden, yeah. that, like, just the river, that it's, like, just so beautiful, like, the blue. Yeah. Like, now it's a bit greenish. Oh, it's more than a bit. It, but... It's greenish. But it's, like, not, it's, like, a beautiful green. It's, like, something, yeah. something Van Gogh like a... would, would use. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, a na like a military green. It is kind of military green. Yeah. Is that goose still there? I think it is. Huh. Let's not worry about the goose. We've talked about this goose. What, what's I'm the goose's name? I'm easily distracted, okay? Well, both of us are. No, like, uh, what was it talking? Yeah, like, because in Germany, I live, I live next to a little, little, what's, yeah, a little, a little pond. Hmm. It's a bigger pond, but if you trans translate it, it's a pond. Yeah. And it gets so green, because mm. it's like, there's not enough. Flow. Flow. So there's not much oxygen can get into it. And if it gets warm, a lot of algae just build up and it gets oh, viciously green and disgusting. disgusting. And it's just, that's not beautiful. It's just vicious and it's disgusting. It's not pretty. No, it's not. No. Honestly, that's things that are pretty. Humans really know what's pretty and what isn't. Yeah. It's like pretty much in our genetics, isn't it? Uh, that's true. Well, I guess because... Basic apes, they're they're gonna eye up some fucking bananas. They're gonna say that one's brown, that one's green as fuck, that one, that one's yellow. <laughs> that one is my banana. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> I think that, is, that that's <laughs> what any you know that picture of Andy Warhol that he made for his one for his band. He, no. he was a producer for a band. Was he really? Yes, he did a lot. He had like a his his. He his, was an artist, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Okay. Like uh, one of the best modern artists. Mm. Like not pop artists, more always wrong. Pop artists. And and he he he's called his like art department atelier. Atelier. Yeah, he, yeah, he called it the oh. factory, because he was really he loved the idea of factories, and yeah. he 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 was a producer of a band, who got really famous like mm. later on. And his the first album cover for this band he designed it, it was a banana, a beautiful screen print of a yellow banana. Really? I, uh, it was. What was the background? Was it pink? If it's pink, I'm gonna. No, it be... was just simple. It was kind of greenish gray the background, oh. and then it's fat, just two colors, black and yellow. Oh. Beautiful banana. Fuck yeah, the the perfect banana. <laughs> the perfect. <laughs> I mean, it was a bit unperfect because well, it was a screen print, but I would say I... that was. Some gorilla worth, worthy banana yeah. right there. There would have been like, that's gorilla porn right there. <laughs> Jesus, <Yeah>. Will. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking crazy. We talked today about that, that porn up has like this new category. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay oh, for God. everybody who haven't, haven't, haven't gotten the news yet. Oh, porn up introduced news. a new category called like 
It's something about I don't know what Save the bees. Save the bees. That's the new category oh, of porn. Fuck. It's I f- yeah, I think there's oh. bee porn too where they just like have like little films of bees oh. getting onto to flowers. Isn't that- and they give it like really really disturbing oh. uh, titles like oh. <laughs> but it's hilarious and I'm sure it every, is. <laughs> for every video that uh, you watch they 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 donate money to save the bees. And I think that's like <sighs> That's just, I think, for a social, for a platform, kind of like a social platform, Pornhub is like next generation. They're like, <laughs> wait, like, they're not even comparable with, uh, with, how's it called, YouTube or stuff. They're like just next level. Well, I guess because I, I don't want to know how many people, but so many people look at porn and a lot of people... <laughs> Know where to get it easily in Pornhub. Of course, it's one of those places. <laughs> oh, oh, have you watched the movie Larry Flynn versus the People? I've never heard or watched that movie. You should watch it. It's on Netflix. Is it? You should watch it too, uh, dear listeners. It's uh, about have Have you heard of the Hustler magazine? Oh fuck yeah! It's it's an adult magazine, and oh, he is yeah. the creator, and he oh. had a lot of lawsuits. Oh, I've heard a lot of shit about this and, movie actually. And the movie is so good. It's it's Matthew McConaughey. He's McConaughey so- or McConaughey? McConaughey. 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 No, how do you McConaughey? McCon McConaughey. McC- what? I don't know. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew Matthew McConaughey. Yes. Yes, that's, that's the one. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. So he's he's playing the main. The main guy. The main dude ski. The main dude ski. Mm-hmm. And th- this movie is beautiful. Is it? it? In my opinion, it is beautiful, but... As beautiful as that fucking Andy Warhol banana? I think they come pretty close. Really? Yes. Interesting. You, know, you haven't even seen that banana. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't, but... You, now you have, like, this mind banana in your mind, and when you see the actual picture... I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, nah. Nah, you won't. No, I, I won't be? I, I don't think so. Brings... Did not you know that Andy Warhol uh, was wearing w- w- wigs? Was he? He was. I don't bald. honestly. I have he no idea bald. who Andy Warhol is. Whoa! I honestly live. I don't live under a rock, but I live next to some pretty fucking big ones, and I have my whole <laughs> life. So y'all can fuck off. Whoa! Fuck! That... I just said y'all. <laughs> oh God! Okay. Okay. You think that's... I'm, I'm just checking the time because... Check the time. Oh, that's a good time. We're like 70 minutes in. Oh, fuck yeah. You think we should change the next t- topic? Yes. We... What We t- we barely talked about the fucking... Whatever. We, yeah, because I honestly... I didn't do enough research for that. Not, neither of us <laughs> did, clearly. Yeah, so... I think we both had to talk a bit louder. A bit louder. A bit louder. Yeah. All right. Next topic. You, 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 colonialism? Colonialism. Colonialism. Well. I didn't, don't even know where you want to talk about this. I don't know. I don't know. You asked me shit topics and I was like, fuck it. Yeah, but many people don't have colonialism as the first thing in the mind. Well, maybe the only thing I can think about is the sun never setting on the fucking Will Empire. <laughs> anyway, so for those yes. of you, yo, you uncultured swines who don't know what colonialism is, it's basically... What Britain did and France did, we so they like hippity hoppity Europe. get Whole off my Europe. property to the entirety of Canada. Oh, you know. not even everywhere. Everywhere. Well, the everywhere. sun never sets on the British Empire. Yeah, but I mean, it was whole Europe. It was Belgium. They did. They had colonies everywhere. Yeah. Because they were the they were the strongest. Like they were like the yeah. bully in town. Yeah, Belgium was Belgium was the crap, and then fucking a couple. Yeah. Hundred years later, Germany comes in and it's like, "Hey, fuck you! We're using you as a crosswalk." I have like no clue about colonialism, so I don't know. Well, so what's what's your main point? My main point, honestly, if I could go back in time and speak to me, William, we have to kind of speak into the yes, phone. Here, don't we? I, I will face you. I could, if I were to go back in time and re- like say, "Will." The Emperor of Britain, 1881. Now, colonialism has been going on for a lot longer, but that's just the year that came to mind. So, I think there's a right way to do it, and there's a wrong way to do it. So, you're saying there's a right way to go over people's land and force them to work? 
<laughs> I mean, it's an I unfit mean, question. It is an unfit question, but sure. it is. But like, and I mean, I don't think the world would. I'm not saying it was good. It wasn't good, but no, it's it, it was it, fucking it, awful. It. Uh, yes, what well, it was fucking awful, but yeah, it, it made the world. It gave them resources. Oh yeah, and. I mean, I w- I'm not saying create a better world, but it, it helped the whole world to step up in it, some way. It did, but... It kind of, how do you say, exploit it? It... It is. It, it, exploitation leads often to, leads to progress, which I fucking hate saying because it's an awful thing and I pray to God that no more of that shit happens because it's, it's terrible, but... Have you seen that meme with uh, Nigeria no. asking France for help? No. And then there's this meme of Mrs. Skinner uh, saying to Bud, so you're coming crippled back after all those years. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know if it's Nigeria. I just, it's, it it's... popped into my mind. But that was yeah. just, <laughs> I just had a thing on it. No, I haven't seen that one, but I'll check it out. We'll see. Yeah. It's, I think, if I were to go back, I would have done it differently. I still, honestly, <laughs> if I was an, emp- an emperor or whatever... I would have gone back, but done it differently. I would have, rather than assimilating culture and separating people from their would beliefs... Would you be like a monarch, like they were there, or do you still... Would you still keep your knowledge you have now? Because, like, your the moral Ooh, compass actually, that's true. of that year was, like, totally different. Oh, it was completely different. A lot of the, the f- people who lived there, the Aboriginal peoples, were seen as subhuman with well no they they were not a lot of them 80 percent okay whatever (laughs) a lot of them were seen as subhuman and if i were to go back as an emperor with what i know now yeah i i would never do that to people i would cooperate and hopefully come up with some agreement that isn't a bullshit one but if i had the knowledge and the experience of an explorer coming from Britain, going to the strange land. Honestly, I may have been more merciful, but knowing what I knew then... So you're basically then, telling me right now how good you have would have been as an emperor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if I knew... If I was born without the knowledge of someone from 2019... I probably would have done it. Oh, that goose is still there. Oh, is it? Yeah, you see it's it. It is, yeah. Fuck. We should we should conquer that goose. We should <laughs> Let, conquer Let's make that. a colony on that goose's nest. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine you're just like a goose chilling on your yeah. little rock bench over there and then like two ugly looking dudes just jump over and oh, like Oh, ugly. I'm a sexy beast, mate. Fuck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what a regrets. Whatever. Yeah. Just like and uh, your fucking goose get jumped by two, like, ugly-ass dudes. Just picture yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, Excuse me, William. Yeah. That was mean. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry, Leo. I oh, meant no Remember offense. when we saw that eagle last time? Oh, yeah. Bald cool. eagles are so beautiful. It was bald as fuck. It was... Uh, I felt like I was Why in the Why do you States. call it bald eagle? Because, like, Cause... They're, they're not bald. They're... <laughs> they're very far from it. It's... I don't can... know. Is white eagle racist? Uh, it's not racist, God no, but the, um, uh, at least in my, my eyes it's not racist, but because normally there are other breeds of eagles that are all brown, but eagles at oh, a distance, yeah. they look bald because you know, when someone's head is bald, yeah, it's like, it looks like it's made out of something different that isn't skin. Yeah. Okay. I get that. Cause the whole face is white. Yeah. 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 Oh, and I think, I think, I think it was Sota who posted on Instagram. That photo of that bald eagle eating a dead deer in the river. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't seen it. Oh, but... it looked, it looked, um, I think I saw the deer on my way home. Because I saw like an, an, an eagle sitting on something yeah. on the on the King Horse River. And I was yeah. like, whoa. That looks, that looks yeah. <laughs> deathly. Oh, speaking of birds, last time we were here while we were bicycling, down to the river, Leo happened to notice a dead crow body. Oh, yeah. And this brings up a point. People think dead bodies are disgusting for a good reason. But why do we investigate them? 
Because so he went up and got a stick and fuck, picked it up to look inside. Cause, okay, I have a story it's... with crows and ravens and shit. Yeah. Because I fucking love rose, crows and cravens. They're amazing. Did crows you know that? Crows and ravens, in... not crows and cravens. That's right. Yeah. Did you know that ravens and crows like they used to uh, air surf, in like mm-hmm. a national park, crows got like. Sorry, air surf. Yes, air surf. You you listen right. Uh, oh, in a okay. national park in in I don't I don't know where it was. Maybe Colorado. Oh, wherever. Some state in America. Maybe maybe in Netherlands. I have no clue. Never. But they got uh, observed. Michael Jackson there. What? In Neverland. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But they got observed picking up bark from trees, mm-hmm. uh, flying up in the air, finding like an like an airflow, like in like just currents in in the air, right. and like. Holding the feet onto that piece of bark and surfing on on those airstreams down <laughs> before they hit the ground, they would fly up again, do it again. So, and then they they look like they had fun. And in a lot of newspapers in the winter, there's there's often the news that crows would be uh, seen uh, like sliding down windshields really? with snow. They would like go up and slide down, and they look like having fun. I mean, and they're just like I. I'm really sympathetic with crows and ravens. Yeah, you feel crows. Yeah, <laughs> I I feel them, man. Uh, so and uh, and once, I was going a lot for Berlin with our our trains and shit, mm-hmm. and I would get a lot of like once I found found a fire extinguisher, in yeah. uh, on the train rails and I kept it and I really? spray painted it and it looked cool and then I lost it. But still, how do you lose a fire extinguisher? I don't know. I okay. lose a lot of things. So, Whatever. <laughs> and I, and. One time I saw a crow and it was like half dead on those train rails. And so I have to check out if they're still alive in them. Because I, yeah. I love crows and ravens. That's but fair. they're but they're fucking mad. they're fucking mean. They are. They are the uh, assholes of the bird community. Once I saw uh, a crow. Uh, no, two ra- uh, two crows. Mm-hmm. I was we were just going out of our house in the morning to go to school. Yep. And I saw them picking on something on the street and I was mm-hmm. going up to them. And it was was it was a squirrel, squirrel, a squirrel. Yeah, they were just picking on it. Look, look how yeah, one. Of course, that's what they do. It, it was it was like they were not even doing it to, to kill it. They were just doing it for fun. Like, <laughs> oh, I noticed it's... you got your new glasses. Yes, you just noticed that. Yes. Bravo, Leo. Oh, wow. oh. Uh, for people who don't know, which honestly, anyone who's listening to this podcast probably, probably. knows <laughs> us personally. Um. My glasses were broken for like a while, and I had to duct tape them every single morning. You know, next time we should bring a blanket. I'm we sitting should, on yeah. dirt, and I look. Well, maybe I like the dirt. Maybe I need a blanket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you call a blanket? No, you don't no, it's call a blanket. A blanket. Yeah, we call okay, it a blanket. Okay, okay, it's a blanket. Or like a towel. Yeah. Yeah. It's crows and ravens. I'm okay. I don't want more pineapple jizz. It's an oh my god. <laughs> Um, How could you say that to our sponsor? Based, they're not sponsoring us. I wish they would. That would be fucking dope. <laughs> um, crows and ravens, honestly. Weren't we talking about colonialism? Yeah, they drifted away. Let's not worry about okay. it. Basically, crows and ravens, assholes of the bird community. But <laughs> assholes of the bird community. But <laughs> what they are. And magpies. I want to add magpies in there. Well, ravens aren't so bad, but... Basically, how about pigeons? Pigeons. What is their social rank in the in the bird oh, community? Pigeons are actually relatively in the middle. In Germany, we call them rats of the air. They kind of are rats of the yeah, air, but yeah. there's worse. What I mean by crows and ravens as assholes is they're mean. They bully things, but when they uh, when it all comes down to push and shove, and an eagle flies in. They get the fuck out of there. They can walk the walk, but they, or no, they can walk, they can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. Like. I get that, but I honestly, one way, one night I was going home mm-hmm. and I saw one crow just like yeah. attacking two deer. Two deer? Yeah. It like, was like alive or dead? Alive. And oh. He was, he was not really attacking. He was like. Was, playing with them, he like was in a, with them, it's, yeah. oh, he was fucking with them. Oh, he was fucking with them. He was like just annoying that deer, and was like the deer was like furious, and the fucking crow was just like flying over its head <laughs> and like landing on the back and being like a real jackass. And yeah. this is like a kind of 
kind of relate to you that. You can relate to being an asshole. <laughs> to, only to deers. <laughs> only to deers. Only to deers. It's, yeah, they're, they're interesting birds because I feel like from my experience with them, whenever another bird comes along, there's something else that can really do them harm. They get out of there. Of course, like, I mean, that's like the most, cl the only clever thing you can yeah. do as a weak bird. That's true. Is to get a fuck out of there if there's someone strong, mm -hmm. like really in, in the animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. If someone stronger than you comes, you get the fuck out. Yeah, but it annoys me because they were being assholes. <laughs> of but course. then the second it's, but that's because they're like kind of uh, smarter than most of them. Oh, birds, they are. They're they? smart ass fucking birds. Like, in in my the place I used to live, there were uh, we had Easter egg hunts all around the town, and the fucking magpies. They would come and they would crack open the eggs and steal the chocolate. So like, imagine we had it too. We got bath bombs, and one oh, crow yeah. was eating the bath bomb, and we had like blue poop all over uh, our property. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> yeah, but all the magpies ate it. Now, imagine, like, 10-year-old me, and I, not even, like, 5-year-old me, wandering around the streets, running up to an egg so excited, picking it up, and finding out that there's no chocolate in it. I was heartbroken. Uh, I, I, honestly, I wanted, if I had the means to damage the bird community, whoa. I, I would. I <laughs> the, would hate the on the birds. The means to damage the bird community. community. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Oh look, it's swimming. The goose, it? it's swimming. Where? Oh, that's oh. So cool. oh. We love you, goose. Oh, I can't wait when, when it's over to go to the goose and just look yeah. at look at the goose. <laughs> yeah, let's get this podcast over <laughs> so we can see the goose. I, I, I really want to go right to the ghost stories now. Yeah, that's we've basically covered everything. Except the trap. Trap music. Yeah, and we will. I'm not music. really feeling it. Whatever. I'm not feeling it yeah, either. I'm not but maybe if it. if we if it comes to it, to yeah. It. All right, ghost stories. Ghost stories. You start because because I have to invent one because I don't really know a lot of them. For shit's sake. Oh, yeah. do we mean like no ghost, ghost stories that are like no your ghost stories you you experience because oh I've had one really fucked up experience with a ghost. So with a goose, with a goose, <laughs> with yeah. a goose, with a goose. Ah shit! So, oh my nice god! One. Yeah. I'll just have to stretch a bit. Oh, we should okay. stretch before we do something like. Probably that. it's it requires a lot of sitting. <laughs> it <laughs> does. Do you want to hold that? I need my I need my hoodie out of my bag. Hell. <laughs> no, honestly, don't. It's gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell, because it's audio. Leo stared at me very, very awkwardly, and uh, there was a moment. There was a moment, but what? The <laughs> so my experience with the ghost is so imagine again. This was around the same age as the Easter egg incident. <coughs> so five-year-old me, or more like five-year-old me, yeah. I was laying in bed one night, and I woke up, and there was a, a sheet. Like it looked like a, something was glowing in my bed, and I was staring. I stared at it for what felt like. Days. It wasn't. It was probably like 15 minutes. <laughs> it, was but... like, it was more like 15 seconds, yeah. but it could have been days. <laughs> yeah, but... And then the, it was trippy because I woke up the next morning and I saw nothing. No, like, no, not even a sheet. Nothing explainable was there. And I stared at it and it, it looked like it was staring at me. And it, I was just this, in the staring contest with this... With this thing. I don't really know what it, it was. Probably just me being a kid and being stupid but and i i've recently had a theory about this is because around that age i started taking adhd medication so what if that adhd medication fucked with my head <laughs> to the point where i started seeing fucking just like fucking fight club tyler durden <laughs> you hallucinate oh. yeah Oh, have oh. you watched Fight Club? I haven't watched Fight Club. No? I've meant to a lot. You, you should. It's it's is an it awesome good? movie. It yeah. is, honestly, uh, I don't think Edward Norton, he's, you know, no. is that famous. But he's a really good actor. Is he? Have I don't you know watched Birdman? No. You should. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Are there oh. geese in it? No. no. Where's, Where's the goose? The goose is... Oh, it's, oh, it's on the shore now. Oh. Hi, buddy. It's walking. It's like... It's like how much? How it's many like, yards away? I think it's eyeing us up. It's like, oh, that's how twenty much yards it, away. How much is a yard? A yard is long enough. It's like a meter and a, a quarter, a quarter of that meter. 
Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Imagine. So it's a one one hundred twenty five centimeters. A little more, maybe. Uh, it's. Imagine, well, you know, you can talk to me in metric. I'm Canadian. I know the metric. I, shit I know too. my metric. I know my metric. Uh, but yeah. Well, it's... if you would know your metric, you would know that we never say like uh, an a quarter. That's and true. And a... <laughs> but mind you, I was also raised imperial yeah. and metric, so I'm bilingual in units by unital. That, that cloud right there, it looks kind of like the Holy Grail and the fish jumping in it. <laughs> it does. And Holy shit. you see shit. the fish jumping in yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're like, like oh, wow. that's, that's not bad. Holy shit. Like, oh. Honestly, every time someone puts something in my drink and I get to a higher state, what someone could describe as getting drugged, Mm-hmm. I always look into the clouds and I see like the most awkward shapes and I oh, love it. I've given up on looking into the clouds because whenever I do, I see some weird shit. Like, I, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know if it's just my brain like making me think things look a certain way, but it always ends up that way and it's trippy. Oh. You know, uh, Edward S. Thompson? No. Or Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Oh, I, of, I've heard of it, but so I don't know what it is. So that movie is about that one author, and he did, like, investigation. Mm-hmm. How do you say it? Investigation to what? No, uh, there's re- a report. A report. No, uh, like, yeah, like a... Uh, newsletter. How do you call those people who work for newsletters? A reporter. Yeah, a rob- re- investigative reporter. Oh, they, yeah, kinda, that's it. Kind of like that. And it was, like... He was like hanging out with the Hell's Angels, Hell's Angels, for with the Hell's Angels like for a year or so, mm-hmm. and yeah, and then he would write about it, and That's he, interesting. his daily routine was just, uh, I haven't, it's it's on the internet, but it was like, cocaine, a lot of cocaine, coffee, more cocaine, a lot of alcohol, cocaine, yeah, porn and cocaine. And then, mm. like, at the end of the day... Cocaine! <laughs> around 11 p.m., he would start writing. Weird. Yeah. That's... I mean, it makes sense. Gangs? Like, no, not just not just when he was in the Hells Angels. Oh. Just, like... That was his daily routine. That was his daily routine. That was like, his daily him. routine. Oh, not shit. Of the, he was... Like, uh, and Fian Loving is in Las Vegas. It's about him mm-hmm. and his in, uh, intern... Uh, driving to Las Vegas because they report for uh, a desert race. And the whole movie is just about how those two guys get, like, fucking drugged the whole way. <laughs> and it takes so much fucking drugs and, and how they how they do that report. And it's just so fucking hilarious. That sounds good. I'll check it out. If you heard uh, that, the whole, re- uh, I think it's called the Stoned Ape Theory. No. They're, like, cause sounds some, good, and some... At some part of the evolution mm-hmm. of the human being, one of those primates, apes, ate like mushrooms or something and just got really trippy and high. Yeah. And kind of had visions that lead to really? the more evolved human. That's interesting. It, it's, I don't know a lot about it. I think we should get some topics for next time. Oh, we should and research we should more. Research yeah. more, way more it's been a one. nightmare, this one, but whatever. It, it's a it's a, it's a wanky start, but it is a it's start. It's a start nonetheless, yeah. Yes, that's amazing. We're, yeah. doing, we're doing good. We are doing good. We, we already for half an hour and six minutes. Oh, it's shit. Like a, yeah. Oh, the goose is still standing. Oh, look at that goose. Look at that goose. Look at that goose. Uh, goose like group animals or... Geese, they are group animals, but oh, they, yeah, it's geese. they fuck off quite often. Do they? Yeah, they kind of just leave. Like, from what I know, they, they like, kind of know where other geese are. I don't like ducks, kind of. Yeah, they're, they're like ducks. They oh, I end up flocking together, but in the long run, they're I haven't apart. seen one duck. No, we don't have many ducks I've came to in Golden, no. No. It's... You don't. There's not many ducks. I've I've only seen a duck in like petting zoos and maybe once or twice. Have you ever went to a petting zoo where you could put could pet a penguin? No. What? That's a thing. Yeah, we Holy have a shit. bird park in a Germany. A bird park. It's like it's a bird park. Yeah, it's like a Holy it's shit. like a park. That's, that's like brilliant. A, like a zoo, but for birds. But for birds. A bird zoo. And they have a penguins. No, don't. 
<laughs> don't. It's not a boo. It's a, oh. it's a bird zoo. It's a, and I a had zoo. like an enclosure with penguins, and you yeah. could they would come up and you could pet them, and mm-hmm. I was petting the penguin, and you like you know, a lot of them look like smooth, like like really smooth. Yeah, they smooth. look smooth, but they're rough, aren't they? They're, yeah, they're rough. They're, they're rough. like a lot of tiny feathers, and they're yeah. kind of oily. Yeah, oh, I, I knew those fuckers were greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could tell, like, that, that motherfucker right there, he's a greasy bitch. He's, he's a greasy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and I was, like, petting it, and I wanted to stop, and he just bit me on my finger. <laughs> like, two times. <laughs> he bit me on my finger. Yeah, I got Aww. bitten by a penguin. Leo. That's that's a good story. Holy shit. Like, what what did you do to anger this penguin? I was... I stopped petting him. You just... <laughs> <laughs> That and that greasy motherfucker just, just yeah, he's just like I'm gonna take a little nibble, <laughs> a little nibble a little on your wiggle, a little nibble, a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I nibble and I jiggle. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop. Yeah, you should. Look, the goose is still there. Oh man, we need to name this goose. What are we gonna name it? Robert. No, not Robert. No, not Robert. Not Robert. Edward. Oh, what is a good goose name? Leonard. No, not Leonard. You what? Don't, you don't want him to get bullied by other geese. Well, Leonard's not a bad name. Um, it has no. to be a majestic name. Uh, like Arthur. Frank Arthur. 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 Arthur the Goose. Arthur that's the our goose. mascot. Arthur, Arthur the, the Goose. goose. <laughs> that's, that's just beautiful. Holy shit, yes. If anybody want to draw fan art for the first podcast. Oh, yeah, first right. episode Arthur fan art. Arthur the Goose. You should, you should get yeah. You should get that. You should Honestly, get for next that. time, I'm just gonna take a chair or something. The ground yeah, is stealing my body it's heat. cold ground. We we came here and it was super hot when we thought about this, but it's kind of cold right now, so we're oh, like. Oh, the huddling. weekend was great. Oh it yeah. Was great here in, we had here a in Golden long Canada. It was Easter. Mm. Oh. Beautiful. So. Yeah. Well, on that note, I reckon we end it here. Really? Well, we, we're 41 minutes. 41. Yeah, but we can put it a bit. Yeah. Okay. okay what's I want to ask you something. You live in Gold for quite a long time. Yes. Quite a okay, not that long, but what oh, is, yes, that long. Okay, a long time. I was right. Yeah. So, what is your favorite place in whole Gold? Could oh, be anywhere. My favorite place in Golden. I grew up mostly in Field. I probably have a favorite place there. Oh, there's not fucking here. pieces in this drink. Uh, <laughs> eh. It, this drink could be so good if there weren't any pieces. If it wasn't, there. if there weren't little pineapple jizzes in there. <laughs> it's not pi- It's not pineapple. I'm calling that drink a bottle. Do you want a bottle of pineapple jizz, Leah? <laughs> it's aloe vera. And pineapple and, and, and oh wait, that's the shit they make tequila out of. Is I don't think they make tequila out of that. What what? Let me see the ingredients. Cause there's a cactus that they do. It's not a cactus. I don't know what aloe vera. Wait, is. what the fuck? This drink says gluten free on it. Yeah, it's aloe vera. Yeah, that's aloe vera. That's the shit they use to make tequila. See? It's fermented tequila. Mm. It's not tequila. No, no, no. <laughs> I meant yeah, it's aloe vera is fermented tequila. No, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Do I? Do yes, I? Yes, you better figure it out. You better figure it out. Yeah, man. motherfucker. Boy. <laughs> oh, we still have to set up. I could I could try to make the YouTube set up on our YouTube today. Do we have a YouTube? I could set one up. I set up the Instagram. Okay. Oh, follow the Instagram. Follow will, the Instagram it's at the River Podcast or the River underscore Podcasts or no. Give me a minute. <laughs> the ri- the underscore River underscore Podcast underscore. I put the last underscore under there because by habit I always press space after I'm done typing. Oh, can you check out if you if we can get the get the URL without the space the, at the, the end? Earl. The 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 Earl. The Earl. The Earl. Yeah, I can. Uh, we'll we'll look into it, but you should follow that in the yeah. meantime. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah. And I'll try to open my YouTube channel today, so yeah. we have it. All right. Yeah. Do you? Uh, do you want? No, no, no. I think okay. I don't have to promote my SoundCloud okay, yet. Okay. It's just the first. Check out his SoundCloud. <laughs> Better not. It's edgy. <laughs> it's edgy. As fuck. That but last it's, song it's, was it's, something special. But come on, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, I want to see your music. Isn't that bad? I should. I should do. Cause I finally figured out how to how to do proper master voices. Some kind of thing with that. Yeah, nice. 
So I think there are people coming, and I still yeah. want to check out that goose. And oh yeah, that goose oh, is our moss Look guy. at a cute doggo. Oh. Oh, oh it's looking, looking at, us. at us. Oh, he's looking Shit. back. All right. Well, so, that was the first episode of the River Podcast. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. And, and we're terribly sorry for any bad audio quality. We're trying to figure out a solution. I think we both have to talk a bit louder and a bit closer. Oh, we're kind of like this. <laughs> Look, you know, like, ASMR. <laughs> Thank you. All right. On this note, thank you very much, Will. Yeah. And that's good. That was, See you next that time. was the real podcast. Bye.